hello and welcome to the channel the name is guru but today we do have samsung galaxy j3 2017 model which has google account on it showing this prompt an authentication attempt has been made to reset your device to factory default settings so this means we need to verify our previous google account which was being set on this device so first we need to connect to a wi-fi network so if you do know your previous google account you can log in but if you don't know watch this video to the end so after connecting to the wi-fi network press the home button three times simultaneously to enable talkback when talkback enable draw L on the screen it will pop up a menu go in for talkback settings double tap on it to select the talkback setting up now press the home button three times to deactivate the talkback now scroll through the list and go in for help and feedback in the help and feedback wait for it to load and go in for about switch access for android Wait for it to load when it load you will see a, a little video click on it to play the video wait for it to start playing go in for the three dot now share the video click on the link when it open youtube it should take you to your samsung browser if it does not take you to your samsung browser it means you have to restart reset your device hard reset your device and begin the tutorial again so now let's search in for frp for bypass after searching for frp file bypass you will have a link or a website so going for the first website or link showing in the google search Wait for it to load and go and download an app called Quick Shortcut Manager. Click on it to start downloading it. Click OK to save the file. So when the download starts, wait for it to finish. So if it if your browser do not pop up this notification, you can go into bookmark and move to history then in the history going for download history you'll find your download file over there so click on it to install give permission to the app to so you can be able to install it so now click install to install the app wait for it to install after installing open the app and now in the app search for <coughs> home when you search for home you see samsung experience home choose that one and in the eight sub menu choose the first one in the list now click try it will take you to the home screen so in this home screen let's go in for settings and disable some free apps so first we need to we need to search for device administrator we need to turn off find my device we need to put that find my device off we need to put it off so click on deactivate to deactivate find my device now move to apps in settings go, go in for apps now in apps click on the three dot and click on show system apps scroll to you see google play service in the list when you find google play service in the list click on it and you have to force stop it click on force stop to force stop it now go to storage and go to clear it cache and go to manage device clear data all data now move back and First stop the app again then click on disable after disabling the app move back and 
move back to their home screen and let's go in for our samsung internet browser so when you're in the browser go in for google settings download this apk for from frp file the same site we downloaded the quick shortcut maker after downloading and installing the app we will use we will sign in to our google account so first all you have to do is to wait for it to finish and install the app so wait for it to install the app after the installation after the installation all you have to do is to click done you have to click on the done and then move back to the home screen once again by adding a fresh or a new tab for it to make it easier to go back let's move to settings again and enable device administrator so let's search for device administrator So going for Android device manager, we have to activate this. After activating it, move back to the menu and going for Play Store. Moving to Play Store. Now we have to sign in with our Google account. If you know you've forgotten your password, all you have to do is to create a new one or yeah, the best thing is to create a new Google account and make sure to remember the password and then you use it to sign in or if you do have a second google account you can use it so wait then now here we need to input our password i'll hide it from the screen after inputting your password click next after signing in they will say an authentication required which means we have to enable the google play service for it for the play store to work so all you have to do is to go to the settings and remove the settings apps you click on the trade or show system apps click on all apps going for disable now you will find our google play service over there so here here is it click on it and enable it after enabling it move back when you move back to the settings search for device administrator so when you get to the device administrator all you have to do is to turn on the find my device on and deactivate the device, um, Android device manager. Deactivate it and enable find my device. After this, so all you have to do is to move back to the menu <laughs> and launch Play Service to check if the Google Play Store is working. So if you check and the apps load it means the google play service is working so you can now reboot your device so i'll be fast forwarding this part after the device has been boot all you have to do is to proceed and if you know you have not subscribed to my channel and you are new to this channel make sure to subscribe to the channel and give a like to this video if this video if been able to make it to this point which means you you have by far this google account lock on your device so make sure to like the video and give a comment if you are facing any challenges you now have google account being added to your samsung galaxy j3 2017 model now click next 
to to skip the backup and now you can now set pin on your device or going for not now you can do it in the settings later now I'm going for more and click more and then I go to the terms now click skip you click skip to skip the google assistant now click ok you don't have any backup file to restore so click ok and it says adding a little finishing touch now all done you have your device bypassed with this video if you are new to the channel please make sure to subscribe to the channel the name is guru boy make sure to like the video comment if you are facing any challenge and also give a comment if this video really helped you now this crashes that is being shown on your app notification panel you have to go un uninstall the google settings and that's it thanks for watching the, the video and also it is the detail of the phone the samsung Galaxy j3 2017 model Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Like.